you doing, sir? Hey. Do you guys realize you're condemning God's church? These people agree with you. Uh-huh. So what is the problem? Why are you here? Well, do and you... I mean this lovingly. Right. I don't understand what you guys are doing, or I, I mean, I do understand the atrocity of right. this, but this and what he, he's condemning God's church, and you're teaching these young people right. to condemn God's church. These people love God. Most, maybe not all, maybe not to the degree that you think, but all these people love God, and this man is condemning God's church right here, and you're teaching other children who should be loving God to condemn God's church. Right. What does the Bible so say? So let's work together, okay, not I'll, be condemning. Okay, well here. So you, why do you think, no, 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 no. You don't want why to work are, together? Why are you guys okay, here? Thank you. I, I look, I've already looked. So why are you here condemning God's church who agree with you? Wait, okay, what, what does the Bible says, if you love me, do what? Follow my commands, right? Love right? God and love others. Right. All right. It, yes. Which is true, right? Loving yes. others. So in Texas, we have um, in the foster care system, 13,000 kids right now waiting to be adopted. Okay. But nobody wants them. All right. So gay and lesbian couples, those are the ones that are adopted. Them. Christians don't want them. Right. This church alone could adopt every single kid in foster care right now waiting to be adopted. So, so how, many it's a, have, how many of you adopted? Six. six. That's fantastic. Six. That's fantastic. Because we're supposed to do what the Word of God says, that not just have fantastic. a good moral opinion of I'm it, right? I'm so happy to hear so, that. In Texas, we have over 60,000 abortions every single year. We have over 70,000 pastors, evangelical Christian pastors in Texas, over 30,000 churches, all right? And if just the pastors acted like Christians and actually opposed abortion, it would be illegal in Texas in a day. The governor could actually just sign a document, go close every single abortion mill, close, take away all the abortion medicine, right? If the Christians would just rise up. So all we're doing, all right, is saying like all the prophets but of the but, Old Testament. But you're here saying we're not doing that. We and that aren't is doing not it. True. You guys have a good moral opinion. We have friends that go to church here, okay? And the church is not doing that. They good do moral, have a good moral but opinion. Good moral opinion means nothing. That's what I'm saying. The church has a good moral opinion, but they don't do it. They don't work it out. They don't do what the Bible says. How do you know that those people are not doing that? Well, well, because I know people that sit with the elders here uh -huh. and talk to them about it uh -huh. and say, hey, we should oppose abortion. We should um, do this. When a bill, HB 948, came out to make abortion illegal, did this church even tell its congregants about it? No. But do they go to the rallies? Who do they says do? these people aren't doing those things? Who says these people are not? Well, you can tell by the fruit of the land. People like this and these people aren't. Like, I just talked to two guys over here that came out and they're like, you're right. You're right, you know, and, that, and that's the truth. I, I mean, I can't talk about all those people, but let's talk about you because you do have a moral compass that says at least this is wrong, right? So how do you oppose abortion? How do you... I'm not saying that this is wrong. What I'm saying is the condemning of God's people that is happening right here is wrong. Have you heard Amos, have you ever seen Amos 5? This is the same situation as Amos 5. God told Amos to go to his people, all right? And and, and the reason he told him to go to his people is because but child this sacrifice... Is effective, though. This isn't an effective way of talking to God's people. If, if that's what you're concerned about, you should be having something where you're engaging in a discussion, not condemning. We do, we do that, all right? We do. And you know what the church who? says? Who? I've talked to over 100 pastors, okay? But who, who here have you been talking to and what it brings All here? the elders here have been talked to. Every single elder here has been talked to. And you know what? It's too controversial of a subject, all right? They know that one third of the women in this congregation have had an abortion. They know that. It's too tough of a, it's divisive. It causes problems. People There's will leave no the church. There's no way one third of the people in here have had an abortion. It's statistically proven, all right? One out of three you, women in America yes, have had an abortion. Yes, we're talking about spontaneous abortions. No, 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 no. I'm talking about uh, surgical no, abortions. That's not true. I'm talking about that's surgical. That's not true. Well, spend a little time looking at it. Oh. Okay, you need to go and spend a little time looking at it. I've spent that, since 2000. I'm not justifying. I think it's horrific. Right. I, I'm totally, Right. I totally agree with you. But this is not effective, and I think you are really warping these kids. But how do you know it's not effective? How do you know? If that's the concern, then we need then we need to be having then we need my, to be having. Yeah, but my question was, how do you oppose child sacrifice in the land? How do you do it? Like, because Amos five, 
child sacrifice was there and God sent Amos to talk to his people and here's what God told him to say that so I hate any, your worship where I can influence public policy to oppose it to stop it I support that so did you go to the convention the Republican convention no because that's where you go to influence public policy I'm not invited to the Republican convention you don't have to be invited you just have to go to your your local government where they make laws or they make um, suggestions of laws they make planks they do all these things right and then they they make things legal or unlegal I, yeah I, I get that but it's the actual representatives who are in who are doing that so that yeah but is, they that they, is letters they work for you no it's not letters it's actually doing the word to the representatives uh, in like I belong to district but, 2031 but to okay talk, but to talk to the church we need to engage with the church that's what we're doing way. no this is not okay. engaging with the let, church. let me please please finish with Amos okay all right so God told Amos to tell his people that I hate your worship that though your prayers be many I will not hear them that your festivals are a stench to my nostrils all right that's because his people all right his people were living in a land where child sacrifice was legal was going on and they weren't doing anything to stop it and that's what I'm saying I'm trying to be a voice for these babies all right for these orphans to help people wake up and pull the scales from their eyes and actually do the work if you live in a land where child sacrifice goes unopposed what does that say about us as Christians well that's awful it is especially awful. since we have the ability to influence our government right so but not everybody does but we do here yeah, and so that responsibility your pastor is on does us, and I'm totally with you with right that. that and that's all we're saying and that's why I'm engaging with you today and that's why I came out here because if I walked over there and walked in there and tried talking or passing out literature in the church they would have me arrested I have talked to elders who have said that they have not talked to you guys so wherever well, you're getting not, that wherever you're reading that I've, I have a good friend who's an elder here I don't know all the elders I know one and he's not been talked to by you guys and you've told me now that everybody's been talked no, they, to they, but they, my point is if we want to so. affect the church then no. what we need to be doing like if if that's the thing then we need me, to be talking Morgan, to them because we need to be ahead. talking to them about okay so uh, what are we doing we're, but but this right is not doing that. No, it's not. Well, it is because you know how many people have come over and talked to us a lot. If I went there and started handing out literature inside the church, like sat there and listened, worshipped, and, and the whole bit, because I'm a Christian, and and I and I said, hey, to the people sitting next to me, hey, could I? Would you take this? You know, and as I was walking out, I said, hey, would you take this? They would have me removed. They would have me arrested. Could right? You put it in a whole other time period. Can I give you one of these, man? Yeah. You got one? All right, thank you. And the church is doing nothing about it. We would go to the church and we would say, Black people are being treated horribly. What are we doing that about is it? What are yes. we doing? Absolutely. And then the church would rise up and do something about it, and then Black people would be treated correctly. In okay, the, in the so, so, so where is this? Where in this are you Ooh. telling, hey, let's get together here and let's come up with a plan? Well, where, where, where in here is it saying that? It, you can go right here, abolish abortion, Texas, and we uh -huh. talk about uh -huh. all the all the people are there. You uh -huh. could talk to anybody you want to, and so, they, and we talk about what we're doing. Like we just got back but, from the Texas. Why don't Why don't you give me? Why don't you instead hand out pamphlets? Say, hey, here's what we're doing next. Please come and join us here instead of instead of this type of stuff. Well, I mean, not that this is bad. I, I yeah. don't mean it. I don't mean it in a contrast like that. Because yeah. for 45 years, 60 million babies have died, and so it's like time to instead of just walking up to everybody. 60 and million. Saying, yeah. No, no. Say, hey, hey, come, hey, we need to come hear. join us. Not, right. not. Exactly. But come that's not us. what you're saying. Stand the way no, that we this are. is being done. Yeah. This, this is isn't not. attacking. This isn't. There's no attacking. I, it totally. I hear what you're saying with scripture uh, on that, and I don't. I, I I agree we need to be called to account. I don't think this Well, he's is, a Marine and he's from fair. New York. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so um, you know, he comes off so, a little more, you know, okay, a little okay. more aggressive, but you know. But he needs to be responsible and respectful with what he's doing. So invite us to things. Right. Don't just sit but, here and, and say, no, no, you've been out here a lot. Right. And this isn't the first time I've heard. Right. The, but you got to imagine this guy over here stands out in front of Planned Parenthood and watch women and kill been, themselves been, all the time. I've been there, and I've and I've, and you know who else is there? The Catholics, the Protestants aren't there. 
I mean, there's like 10 Catholics and one Protestant. So, but and, let's, and where let's is the church? Engage in that discussion. Where, right. I mean, not, let's do it's that. It's that. Let's. No, 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 no. A fair. Okay. Wrong word. Wrong word. Wrong word. Call to action. Right, do an right. effective call to action. That's I'm well, telling you, this is not an effective call to action. Well, you could do this that. This is not an effective call you to could, action. Maybe God's given you some wisdom and some understanding right. of what you should do. You're fired up now, so go get 10 Well, I'm, I'm fired up over this more than just now, but what I'm fired up over right now is being is, is God's people being condemned this way. Are you more people fired who, up who, who support dying? you. No, they don't support us. They don't. They don't actually support us. They have a good moral opinion, all right. But the, you know what? None of the elders good come out here and talk to us. Nothing. Either you're obedient to God right. or you're not. That's what I'm saying. So, you know. You know what? They could make us go away like that. The easy. They could just come out and talk to us. We could give the literature. They could under. They could give us a, a moment to actually express what's going on okay. and what have you asked for and who have you asked will you ever, are you going to be here again next week um not next not next not next two weeks we won't okay the next time you're here bring me a list or i'll give you my do you have a pen mm. hey honey do you have a pen here. be nice to that guy <laughs> <laughs> i'm sorry um todd bullis Oh, okay. Last name B U L L I S. My telephone number is 805 404 4450. Okay. I want to I would like a list of who you've spoken with and what you've spoken with them about. Okay. And and then we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, right. but this has to stop. This isn't fair. This is this is I mean, you he should feel very guilty about what he's doing. And you guys need to be very careful about the opinion that you're giving to these kids about well, about God's people. Right. Because this is totally but there is, totally there not is, appropriate. Like this pastor would agree that probably a high percentage of people that actually go to this church aren't saved right like we know there's just a bunch of pew warmers in any church even if there's like a hundred people in a congregation right so we know and and the reason we okay. know this is because the fruit of the land look at the fruit yeah, of the land but that that's a whole nother discussion that needs to be addressed a whole different way because those people aren't going to do anything because they aren't saved right so so the ones that are saved we should expect them to do something that's right a, that's a very different conversation i mean uh, it all plays in but right. that's those that has to be developed. They've got, God's got to change their heart first. I mean, right. that, that's a, <laughs> so, I mean, if that's the basis for right. condemning, then you well, no, no, no. should be condemning us for allowing non-believers to come into a congregation. But the believer should be doing something based on what you just said. To come into a congregation. Right. But the believer should be doing something based on what you just said, right? We can't expect unbelievers to do something because, you know, they're not saved. But the believers, we should expect them I mean, what's the greatest, what's but, the low but, light? But that you're then assuming that they're not. Now, well, now maybe they're not to the degree that you want. And I would say if that's the, if that's the call to action, then that's what you should be encouraging. So, cool. but, but you guys need to be very careful about how this is being done. I, 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 and I know that it's not just being done here. I'm sure it's being done other places, but there, there's a respect and there's a, a there's a, a, a a dignity that's due and these are due respect and dignity i am i'm not i totally agree with that but if you want to call the church to action i don't think this is effective right we're calling them to repent right to repent of our apathy because you know what you tell so me what the church is doing just, but you're being you're you're saying that they're not you're right. saying they need to repent yes uh, you need to repent for what? For, for being part? apathetic like, towards not, not making it illegal. I'm not apathetic. All right, then what are you doing? All right? If a girl was over there getting raped and you did nothing but said, I'm against rape. Uh, when I talk to people, I tell them rape's bad. But there's a girl over there getting raped and you do nothing, I would say you're apathetic. You have a good moral opinion that rape are, is wrong. But there, the, you're, that's, you ha there are a lot... And I'm not saying the, this being allowed legally is an okay thing. It's so, bad, so yeah. It, I know you so have a good moral so, opinion. I agree. So don't misunderstand. Yeah. There are laws that allow me to stop a woman from being raped. Right. If I could stop a woman from having an abortion.
abortion, I would. But you could make but it. But I can't. You could help make it illegal in Texas. Everything I can do to make it illegal in Texas, I will do. All right. So, so you're gonna go to your district. All right, and you're gonna start getting involved in local politics. Right. You're gonna talk to your elders and say, hey, you know those guys. I don't like their tactics. I don't like them. Okay, but so give we. Give me the list. Give me. Send me what you've done here. Okay. And then that will help I, me I have understand a, how much. You there's really, an abolitionist that goes here. It'll help that has me talked understand to the how much has okay. really been done here. Right. I mean, I want to know who have you right. talked to, not the right. elders, which elders have been been spoke to, and what has been the ask of those okay. elders. Okay. Okay. Do that. Uh, yeah. That that will give me. That will let me know what you guys think you've done versus what has been done, and then that's where I can get an understanding from them. Okay, why have what why are you doing with this? And da, 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 da. right, that's effective. This, right. I mean, you hand this out to the congregation, then maybe they'll start doing that. Right. Maybe the, that's what we're doing. But, the, but this isn't. No, 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 no. Only because I'm having this conversation and asking you for a list of who have you talked to and what have yeah. you talked about. You start handing that out, and I'm not indicting our elders or anybody. Okay? I know. I mean, I'm not I saying you this can. whole everything in support. But then it'll be like, oh, okay. Then you want me to start, you want me and the other uh, members who are. Go here. Yeah. God's people to expect something here. You've given us a reason to think we're not getting right. that. Okay. Right. But right now, this, the, I, I don't have reason to believe. Yeah, that. but we've been out here for a long time, right? Uh-huh. Many, many, many okay. Sundays. Uh-huh. You could still go and say, are we doing anything? Like, I don't like their tactics, but are we doing anything to make it illegal? Or do we just have a good moral opinion? The church is silent. The church is silent. And that's all we're here to do is just say, church, where are you? Church, where are you? The, it's, you, the then is where is the sign? Church, right where are you? It says, we are here to bring your apathy into conflict with their death. And you can go to where, churchrepent.com. Where, where is, where's the sign that says, church, we need your help? There. Right. Look, right here. But see, you're blaming that on the church. It is a church's it is fault. It is not. It is not. It's society's. It's it's our society's. Doesn't fault. the Bible say that we're supposed to take dominion of the land? The that we're men who are supposed to protect are, the innocent? We are supposed to be involved. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, they're have the, some signs. That say, I'm saying, say, have some signs. That, oh, that's, that's unbelievable. Yeah. Look at that one. It blows my mind. And church blows my mind. Look at that mind. one. Says, the one on the right. Help me. I'm being ripped apart down the street from your church. Right down the street. Yes. And there's, there's so, how many people are in there so this morning? We're not, have a meeting. How many have people a meeting, are in there this morning? Have a meeting. Have at least one of your signs that says, we're going to meet here. We need your help. So are you right? more well, all, mad about all, our signs? Just so you know, is, we're no, not... No, 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 no. You're so mad about the signs. No, I'm not, not mad, mad about, about the, the signs. Baby. I'm not mad about the signs. No, I'm okay. trying... Okay. Uh-huh. I'm not mad about the signs. I'm trying to tell you, if you want to affect change... Some of your signs need to be about actually helping people pr- pragmatically doing that, not. That's what this indictment. is. So. No, this you, can, is you can't do okay. it in a sign like that when you drive by. Yes, I'm telling people say, exactly what to do. Say, meeting you, here, need did your you help. Did you ever hear this bill, HB 948? Did you hear of that? I don't remember. So this was a bill that came up in Texas, and it said abortion is going to be outlawed. That's what it said. Okay. There was a big rally. Okay. And see when you say it, like, okay, like, that's amazing. Abortion is outlawed. That's what we want. But it's and not going to... No, no wait, the, the so okay then, So then is, everybody in... Te- everybody had a big rally down in the state capitol in Austin. Everybody had a big rally. You would think, how many people go to this church? I don't know, thousands? How many people were down there? I don't know. And how many churches are in Texas? Well, they didn't even let people was, know. They, the, did your pastor tell you, this is a bill that's going to end abortion in Texas? It's going to end it. It's going to be abolished. No. And nobody heard about it. That's what we're here for. We're here to say, where's the church? Where's the church when things like this come up? No, where's but, the but, church? But, but don't, don't, t- don't mistake the O as like the true apathy. It's, it's, there's going to have to be something nationally to fix this. This is statewide. Yes. This is a bill. This, this, is, said, it's, this said abortion okay. will be abolished. And, and I am this totally... This will be ended. Fine. I, and I'm totally good with that. 
but it's going to go beyond that. It right? will go we beyond know, that. We know that it will go be, beyond, and it's going to have to go beyond that to get challenged. To I'm totally, I, I totally agree with people that. Have to rise so, up and well, what if we have, if people from your church would have showed up in Austin, then that would have made a difference. If you would have showed up in Austin, okay. that would have made a difference. Okay. There's, fair. That's what fair. we're here for. That's okay. the fair. point. That's fair. why And if we're that here. communication isn't going out, fair, uh, fair. Then so, your pastor is to blame for it. Well, he, he's he, okay. He's okay. He's he okay. You. Okay. Okay. But is this helping me find out about that? Yes, it is because you because it brought you out here to talk to us and lots of people have gotten this literature. All right. Lots of people have seen it. And you know what? We're not asking for money. We're not asking you to help us pay for this literature. We spent lots and lots of money on. We're not asking for you to help us. We're asking you to be a Christian in a community where child sacrifice is legal. Like we're not saying join us. Be crazy. Sign hold people. We're not saying that. We're just saying, be a Christian. We haven't well, failed I, I know, to be pro-life. We all, failed to be Christian. I, I, I'm totally in support of being active and whatnot. I'm saying that the indictment and what we're, what the way that we're showing kids about this is very confusing. So, and I, and I, I'm totally sympathetic to sympathetic that you're gonna indict me for that. I agree with you completely. So, okay, you can do blah, 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 blah. Maybe, maybe, maybe we could be more active, but again, invite us to be more active. Help us know how to be more, be active. more active. If if we're, <laughs> if we're not getting it here and that's the indictment against here, let's be clear about the indictment because this is a very different indictment than what you and I are talking about. Failing to, failing to communicate, hey, here's ways you can go about doing it, is very different than right. this indictment that's going against the whole body Never, of the a, whole body of Christ. There's a really good example. And and if you're going to be if you're going to be saying, well, most of these people aren't Christian anyway, then you need to change these signs because it's not God's church. Right. Well, as soon as somebody who um, espouses a different gospel than you know the the gospel of Christ, we talk to them about that because that is the most important thing. It's not abortion. It's not making abortion illegal. It's about being obedient to God and work and loving and you know doing what the Bible says. But very you know? few of them, I would suspect, would have the interest of coming and talking to you guys with these signs. Well, hundreds of th in 2009 no I hundreds know. of thousands I would be surprised. In, in 2009 we had one I get surprised right in, in 2009 we had one abolitionist society in the united states now we have over 300 we have a governor an abolitionist governor running for um, go um, governor in oklahoma right abolitionism dan fisher um the the abolitionism just like during the times of slavery um, is rising up and and godly men and women the scales are being fall, fallen off their eyes and they're like hey We need to make it illegal like it is not right like if it was old people people over 55 Right that were being killed and it was legal to murder 55 year old people or older um, The regulation is the church first of all would be fairly silent right that um, in in this analogy um, But the pro-life movement would say well people that still have jobs. We shouldn't murder them let's make a law that says we shouldn't murder people that have jobs. And then other people would say, well, hey, let's make a law saying that we shouldn't murder um, people, old people over 55 that have hair, right? That's what the pro-life movement does. It regulates when, where, and how they murder babies. But abolitionism says, no, you shouldn't murder anybody that's over 55, right? If we can pass a, ball, a bill saying you can't have partial birth abortion, because we're a Republican pro-life state, so we can we can ban partial birth abortion. Why can't we ban right, but you can't all abortion? Everyone's opinion or actions here. But you can look at the fruit of the land and know that it's not being opposed. All right. So I'm not saying. But that's nice. Yeah, they're all they're live action is probably one of the better pro-life organizations, but still it's a pro-life organization. So they want to regulate abortion. So live action, like I know all those people because I, I had to repent of being pro-life because I was in all that. I was like hanging with Jill Stanek. I, I like Greg Cunningham, you know, I mean all these big wigs, Troy Newman, Operation Rescue, all these guys. I was involved in that stuff and I had to repent of it because they were like doing wickedness so good could come. 
Are you familiar with William Wilberforce? Yes, very much so. They had so. to make a lot of compromises before they can get in, get in right. the policy. And he repented of, of all his compromises. He said that abortion would have been abolished sooner if he wouldn't have compromised. He did make compromises, but William Lloyd Garrison didn't in America. William Lloyd Garrison didn't compromise. And he said, I will be, you know, as harsh as truth. And I will be, you know, like he, 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 he would not compromise. He would not equivocate. He would not step back, you know, and everybody hated him in the church, hated him because they'd be like, Hey, we're good people. We're against slavery. And it's like, well, then let's make it illegal. And they'd be like, well, a lot of people who go to our church own slaves and they're the ones with the money. Yeah, but he had you to know? change the hearts and minds of the people before he could get the law changed. No, what he had to do was stand up and be obedient to God, and the people refused to be obedient to God, so God sent a civil war where hundreds of thousands of people got murdered and killed, right? So that's the thing. Christians should read the Word of God and be obedient to the Word of God and not make excuses for wickedness because we are more than conquerors. We can definitely have dominion over the land. It's just that we don't even try. We literally don't even try. And you know why we don't try? Because we grow fat in the day of slaughter. We enjoy like a nice comfy church going out to dinner watching a football game, you know, like our life's good. We don't want to sacrifice. Do you know who Alfred uh, Kinsey is? Who? Alfred Kinsey? Uh, no. Okay, then you don't have any business talking about this. Why? You're not getting to the root of the problem here. What's the root of the problem? Well, tell me. Because I don't know, you won't tell me. Right. You don't have any right to talk about this. <laughs> you don't know who, who that is. I'm, I'm just kidding. It's not a very logical argument. I don't know some man, so I can't talk about it. Like, okay, do you know who Judith, Judith Reisman is? No. Okay. I think you should look her up. I, I, He's making the same point that, well, if you don't know what this bill is, then you don't really care about this. Yeah, but I'm out here telling people about it and saying, hey, look, here, here's the bill. You know, here's what's going on. You know, I'm like, we're like trying to educate people and be a voice for the voiceless. We're not just so like this, bill, this one. Uh huh. When was this? This was the last convention. So this was like a year and a half ago, two years ago. This was the last. And this actually um, made it made it it made it to a bill had like 11 signers, and it was tabled. Um, Texas right to life. So it didn't get it didn't go to a vote. vote. It didn't go to a vote, even though 90% of the delegates in Texas want it. Now delegates aren't Texas right to life. That's a paid organization that gets millions and millions and millions of dollars, right, to give to politicians, but. The delegates, you know, I'm like a delegate, so I was I was at the convention. I, I, I went to the in San Antonio. It was just finished last week, and sat there. And the people want to make abortion illegal, all right? But the leaders don't. That's why we have to put pressure on the leaders to make it illegal. And what they'll say is, well, it won't pass. It's like that's what they said about slavery. It won't pass, you know. But we still have to work to make it pass. And and like. Yeah, and, and that's what I'm saying. That's what you need to be believing. If you're going to exert all this energy, the way it's going to be effective is if you're really rallying people to do that. And this, I don't think, is probably doing that. I think you should really evaluate how you're going about doing this. And I, like, if, if, no, I'm not going to stand for you. I'm not going to do Well, do what God there, places on your heart to do. There's a lot of, there, there's a lot of, there's a lot of indictment that I think we can carry as a church, but I'm not going to stand out and broad brush do this. I think if you would have, if you have like, uh, here, here's times, here we're going to meet and talk about this atrocity, that I might be like, okay, let's make time to go to that and see what, they, what their ideas are that are above and beyond what's being done. That would invite me this. But we don't even have to do any of that. All we're saying is act like a Christian. Yeah, but, Read the but, Bible. Do what it says. Bring justice to back, the... We've been back. Uh, we've been through that a little bit. Yeah. And so we're going to go circular again. I'm saying if you want to affect change by the people whose hearts have been changed and who agree with you, who these people agree with you about this being an atrocity, you may not support, think right. they're doing enough. And if that's the issue... Or we're anything. Not, if we're not doing... <laughs> fine. If we're not doing anything or enough, then... 
we need to do more come meet with us here let the, let the spirit move cool. them to to attend and support not just in diet Elijah in the Bible mm. I mean any of the prophets in the Bible they they exhorted the church but they it was a it, the, that, that's Elijah, a very no 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 no, no. Then, that's very that's a, but I mean I'm glad he's not telling us that they <laughs> had a very I'm different sure the they had a very right. different they, they, had a very different, they had a very different they had a very different I'm not gonna do a darn thing what are you doing you're not inviting people. You may think you are, but you're not. I'm, I'm, I, the only reason I'm saying this, what I'm saying is if you want to be effective, be effective. This isn't effective. This is not... What? Are you effective? Making abortion illegal, child sacrifice in the land. Are you effective in... Because all, all we're saying is, is you. I like apparently, our tactic better than your, your not, tactic. Which is fine. Right. But, I'm, but you know what? Hey, I'll go get that list and pursue this. But you could have also gotten that and you wouldn't have just gotten me. You might have gotten other people if you're like, okay, here's where we're going to meet about things that we should be yeah. doing to do these things. But we're not, not asking not them to meet guided. us and join well, us. We're asking them no, just no, to no, be no, Christian. No, no, no. You are asking them to join you, not your group, not whatever group. You're asking to join in the fight, which right. is fine. I'm saying that's what you need to be doing. That's how you'll be effective, not, I mean. Yeah, but you can do a that now. A minute ago, you said three, two, uh, you said three-fourths of the people here aren't even Christian. Well, no, no, no. So, my point is, many, like pastors know, much of their congregation is not Christian. I'm not trying to get Christian. into the, 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 yeah. the minutia the details. I'm just saying, if you want, if that's what you want to do, you need, I think you really need to think about how you're going about doing that. Because uh, we you do. probably get people. We do. This pushes people And we away. do get people. Abolitionism is growing away. like crazy. No, it pushes people away who are apathetic, who don't want to do anything. They're like, oh, they're being judgmental. They're being legalistic. So. I don't think so. I think people need help. People now. And that, that's why they're here, because we need help. People. And, and I'm with you, and it's horrible, and it needs to be stopped and right now. No. But people need help. And, and, and So help them. You don't, like, there, there's a why? saying among abolitionists, why? I like why? my tactic. And I'm, I'm saying, I don't think this is helping. Right. Like, the, this, right. this. Well, I've spent a lot of really time much, thinking about this. It's really much more of the, of the overtone yeah. that is very disgusting. I mean, it's very, very disgusting. And I, I'm about indictment where indictment needs to be. But this isn't, I don't think this is effective at death. I'm not saying I'm I'm not saying be nice where you don't and, you shouldn't be nice. And, and, I, and I, I I'm I'm not that sensitive. I'm actually on the harsher side of things, but, and that's why I'm actually probably talking to you. But and I appreciate that. But, but you know, there's a saying abolitionist. I mean, I'm actually giving you I think what would be helpful, and you don't seem to want to do that. But well, I'll, no, I'll follow up I've thought about this I'll a lot. You. Okay, it's not like hey, let's just get some signs and stand out in front of the church. I thought about this a lot, and, and my, the first way I dealt with it is I had no signs, and I just went and talked to pastors. All right, but you know what pastors don't want to deal with or talk about? Child sacrifice in the land. They do not want to talk about it. All right, yes, and, and there's there's bad reasons for not. So, and, and there's a saying among absolu abol abolitionists that I like the way we do it better than the way you don't. All right. So it's like, you don't have, we're not saying come stand, hold signs with us. We're just saying, go do it. Be a Christian, be a voice for the voiceless, you know, be a father for the fatherless. Well, you just admitted that that's not, this isn't the best method. No, I didn't. What I admitted, what I said was, I like the way we do it better than the way you don't. And you don't have to do it our way. You don't have to. Just do it your way. Just do what the Bible says. Defend the innocent. But there, but there's a difference between repent right. and, oh, here's how you go do it. And you know what? We're the, just not a society the, where people know all those things, right, rightly or wrongly. Yeah, but these are godly men that know the Bible, that read the Bible. They walk around with their Bibles. Maybe 25% of them. What about you? <laughs> and you? You know, like, you know the Word of God, so let's start doing it. Like, you don't have to even talk to me ever again. You could just start being but a I'm, Christian. But you're assuming I'm not. Because well, I'm not doing the things that you want me to do. No, I'm not and doing I'm the things saying, the Bible says that no, we're no, supposed no, no, to no. do. I am opposing it. I am opposing it every way I, I know that I can do. Now, what you're saying is that there are more things you can do, so fine. Educate me on that. 
help me see that. And then I can have the value of, yeah, I think that's effective and I'm going to pursue that. Or, okay, if you want to pursue that, that's fine, but I'm not going to. And we have the right to disagree. Right. But help me get there. Don't just sit right. there and say what you guys are doing or sitting here saying that, that this is all a call of we don't care, which is very much not true. We have people that went to this church that now comes to our home fellowship. All right. We have people that I sat next to at the convention that come here and says, you know what? Our church really does. It's really good preaching, really good family oriented, but it does not put into practice what it, what it actually believes. And you know what? Yeah, that's, that's like, that's, that's like all that's the, the churches, right? But that's the responsibility of us as Christians. Right. So my point is help like okay fine if it's not going to be here and you think that's the shortfall great you know what you you let me know okay here here ways or here's how you can find out ways not just the bad stuff i get the bad stuff you can maybe have a little bit of the bad stuff but have the where we go effectively from here and you know what if you do that and people are like oh they're not just they're not just they're not just oh uh, what is it uh Woodboro, what, what's that Baptist Woodsboro. church? Yeah, they're not just Woodsboro. They actually want to do something. Then then I see that. Oh, okay. What? Well, and you know what? Then enough people might have more influence to say, I don't care about our 501c3 status. Let's do what needs to be done anyway. Right. Okay? Right, yeah. That's fair, but that might be an effective way of doing that. This, you're... Yeah, but you could just know, you many, could just do how that. Many how it many sounds people, like you have an understanding. How many people here have changed? Well, yes, because I'm gonna I'm gonna follow up with you because you don't have that. Well, not just that because you, you have, have the intellectual ability to understand what we've been talking about right now. But a lot of people do. But you're not. But but again, I don't know. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, imagine this. There's a, there's imagine a lot, this. Everybody's got a lot of things going on, and yeah. But imagine this. Where do, where do you put your importance? You can indict all you want. What I'm saying is, that if you help make it much more easy, easy and practical for people, then I I think that will have a lot. I understand. You've said that like 20 times. I totally get what you're saying. I understand that. I hear you, man. But what I'm saying is, imagine you live in a land where there's these buildings where everybody lines up and goes in and sacrifices their children and but Chuck not, Swindoll and you and everybody knows about it and they don't care. That's not true. Well, that, then why isn't it illegal? Wrong. Why isn't it illegal? Why, why isn't the church rising but up? it was illegal. It was, yeah. And then the Supreme Court says, no, it's a woman's right. So what happens is, the governor, all the men just go, okay, I guess women can do it. So everybody started having abortions, and now it's over 60 million, or over uh, 1.2 million and a year. the states have put in what they can, the states that have wanted to have put in rules that they can, that they can still get by that with. Regulate and, it, right. And, and instead of like... make it okay. Instead that of the, doesn't make it okay. Right. Instead of the pastor right. standing love, up and saying, we can't own black people. I love We can't pastor. do that. <laughs> right? The pastor should stand up and say, look, we have to stop. And we have to go to our representatives and our congressmen and our president and everybody. And we need to make make sure that it's illegal. We can't just say, well, let's just regulate and put rules in place to where people who own black people have to be yeah. nice to them. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's what so, we're doing. So and nobody cares. The secular arguments have to get better or the Constitution has to be changed. Or godly men just need to stand up. That, the Constitution that, already gives you know, us life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That's what I said, better secular arguments. No, 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 he's already changed his mind. He already knows that abortion needs to be opposed and that we're failing. I didn't change my mind. Okay, so I don't say this for myself, but I feel like, okay, so I support in the ministry, they That's a good thing to do. Not doing anything really. No, that's good. Well, that's mean, good. That's a good thing to do. But that's not. You know what? If everybody in the world did that, it wouldn't make abortion illegal. So we need to do that. We need to do assistance, just like we adopted kids, right? We do assistance. We go to abortion clinics. We help women. Yeah. The, but we also have have to make it illegal too. Sexual re revolution has propped up that you can do these things. You know, re reproductive rights. Get rid of this. And, they don't, and some people don't understand that they actually are killing human beings. They know. I used to think when I was in college that people could just take an abortion pill. They, they can. Yeah. Uh, no, but I didn't think it was like, oh, you're actually killing a human right. life. Right. And then I learned that it did. Right. But that was com a compassion argument, not not a shaming argument. I think I think talk to shame is a horrible motivator. It, it helps them a little bit, but it won't keep them long term. 
Well, the thing is, is we bring them the word of God, and we say, thou shalt not murder, and then anybody that, like, abuses or offends one of these little ones is better than a millstone be tied around their neck and talked, tossed in the ocean, and we shouldn't grow fat in the day of slaughter, and we should be a voice for the voiceless, and we should, you know, protect the innocent, right? But we don't do that in Texas. We don't do that with the orphans, all right? We don't. I mean, it's horrible. I mean, I think if what you're saying is true, we would have aborted all the special needs kids in this church. You know what? It's like 95% of all Down syndrome kids get aborted. So the okay. ones that aren't aborted, Iceland? what's that? In Iceland? No, I think in the United States. I think oh. it's like, it's like it might even be 98%. It's super high. We have to be so, very careful about using the broad statistics of a secular society with that which we're Look, but Texas isn't just a secular society. It's full of Christians. Everybody goes it's to church. There's all these mega churches. Look, yeah. you guys have a $16 million a year of budget. So you guys spend more money on your grass than you do trying to make abortion illegal in Texas. Go find in your budget where you're actually trying to make it illegal in Texas, where you're trying to free slaves. And then compare that to how much money you spend on your grass every month. And I bet you'd be shocked. I bet you spend more money on toilet paper in this church than you do in trying to make it illegal. And I'm right. I know I'm right. Because I know people in, that go here. And I know people that have brought it up and said, hey, we need to start a ministry for women that have had abortions to help them deal with their grief. And they say, oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. That was a different church. That was wrong. That wasn't here. So that was another big mega church. All right. But uh, all I'm saying is, is be Christian. Look into it. Re if you guys just repent... You know, like if you go, you know what? I have been apathetic to child sacrifice in Texas, Lord. Forgive me of that. Okay, he will open your mind and give you things no that you can do. Like we have all fallen short. Like, what, hey, well, yeah, so but say that, that to a black I mean, man. I can carry a whole lot of guilt about everything, and I'm not excusing this. This is, this is horrific, but... Okay. And, begins and you're, not, you're not going to get... I don't think you're going to get the church. So you do I it. I don't think you're going to effectively get the church this way. Well, you do it then. You do it. Get them. Just help. You know, don't help us. Help them. And I might be wrong, but I think one of the reasons we're talking to you is to help you change your strategy or just get out of here because I don't think this is the right way to do it. That's the only reason you're here is to either get us to leave or to change yeah, our I, strategy. Like I said, I, I might so know, you're not going to do anything. No, no, no. What, you're not going to. You, why would you just say that? Well, because you said the reason you're here is to get us to leave or for us to change our strategy. strategy. So, yeah, but I just told you I do something about it, but you but, said I don't but, do it. I, I, no, no, no. You do assistance, which is good, but that'll never make abortion illegal in Texas. You should do both. We should do assistance and make it illegal. If it was legal to say, you know, to kill any group of people. We should make that illegal. The question is, what can we do to make it illegal? Right. That, that's where we need to go. Right. Prohibition didn't work. <laughs> but, but Prohibition of owning a slave worked. Prohibition of raping women. You know, well, you used to be able to call the police. How many people come out like, and talk to you each other? A lot. I talk a, a, a lot. Five, ten, twenty? Uh, yeah. Probably 10, but they come on Facebook and they talk to us, they email us, they get our number, they come to our church. But you know what? It, you, you used to be able to be married and beat your wife. You could like beat the hell out of her, right? And then a cop would come and go, oh, domestic abuse, I and would, they would leave. I would because like you have a right to beat your wife in the United States. Now that's changed, all right? But the, you know why it's changed? Is because they got equal protection under the law. But they didn't always have a policeman would see a guy beat his wife and he would ignore it. Now, not, now I'm not talking like 10 years ago. I'm talking like 50, 60 Don't years worry, ago. <laughs> right? And also, you, a runaway slave would run away and you know who would bring him back? The police. All right? Yeah. But when they got equal protection under the law, that stopped happening. All I'm saying is, is you guys help to give equal protection under the law to unborn babies because they're created in the image of God and they have value and, and we shouldn't ignore them. And I, you would be hard pressed to find a Christian here who doesn't agree with you. Right. But I don't want them to agree with me. I want them to actually do the work to speak up. Well, that depends. That, but, okay. I want What's you to be, name? I want, I want you to be effective. I want this to be uh, effective and help. Uh -huh. And that's, and, and I want it to be effective and help and it's crushing to hear you indict God's church 
maybe more broadly than you should be. Well, so it, I'm a little yeah. worried for you guys. But the indictment's that, a lot worse that, that we have child sacrifice and we ignore it. Okay, okay, <laughs> that, that, that's your call. But if that's gonna be your stance, fair. I would beg you, I would implore you to be more effective, to do something that helps me, who's sensitive to, maybe, and you're not happy with, I need to repent from my sensitivity and not my action. Help, how do you help me go from here to more act, more active of what you would like to see because this isn't doing it. I'm just telling you, this isn't doing it. Or if it is, it's until I hear, I hear the offensiveness of what you're saying that I actually come to talk to you in a loving way. And it may not have felt loving, but I do. No, you I have meant this good, to man. be in a loving way. You're good. I'm, Can I pray for you? But my point is, you could have gotten me a lot faster if you would have given me a more actionable tactic than an indictment. And that is... That's the unfairness, and I, I don't I, I don't care about the unfairness. I'm just saying I think that unfairness is likely to push other people away who, who, who are more sensitive to that. And you could be using this equally as an opportunity to, to be giving people action steps, right? right? Before, I'm not going to stop and get your this because I'm too offended that you're making my three-year-old look at these pictures, which... I, I totally okay with my older kids seeing it, but this there's a there's a sense of decency, but it is the real world, and so we can get into arguments over that. But if you would have given me t some other ideas about okay, you could have probably had me on your side a little bit faster than what you're doing right now. So that's what I'm encouraging you guys and to. I'm That, that would be helpful. I think that would be a more. I think that would be a more effective step in in what you're wanting to do. Will it work? I don't know. It, it, to your point, probably this isn't going to change unless everybody who would be the 10% of Americans who actually probably are Christian to really get engaged and really do things together about it to make it that big of a deal. That's what would, that's likely what's going to be required. So that's what you've got to work towards, and I, I don't think this is doing Well, just so you know, like the gay and lesbian movement, that's only like a super, hyper, super small, and but look at all the radical, attention. dedicated movement, and right? They, and, they, and so it doesn't take move, that many. And they move together, and they will make purchasing decisions together, which is why corporations that was do and have the flags flying if they have flying. But you know what? The Christians under godly leadership who live in a town where child sacrifice is legal could actually rise up and end it right away. They could. You imagine this many people showing up in front of the courthouse? Or this many people showing up in front of the Republican convention saying we need to make abortion illegal? Why not the Democratic convention? That too. Yeah. So I appreciate you talking with us, man. And I'm like Homer Simpson, man. Like, I'm not like an intellect. I'm a, I'm a total dork. I really am. But I spent a lot of time out in front of Planned Parenthood, and it killed me. Like, I'd come home and just cry, you know? So I need, need 
other people to rise up. I'm like a guy that's been in Vietnam too long. You know, being out in front of the clinic is tough, man. So other Christians, you know, we need help, you know? So uh, I'm not trying to give you guys a hard time at all. And I appreciate you coming out and talking to us. So, you know, so. And, and believe me, I've tried non-graphic signs, just text signs, you know, the, the horrible ones, the horrible ones, then people come out and talk. All right. I have a practical suggestion. Uh, sure. I've heard a really good one is, is, it doesn't matter what stage of life you are, you're still a human. So like right. graphic, live action, I think has one. Uh -huh. uh, you know, embryo to 85 years old. What's sad is, is everybody knows it's a human, but that's not the point. They want the ability to say, because see, instead of um, having a baby, you know, they don't, they want to go to college. So instead of like stopping to be a mom and not going to college, they sacrifice their child, right? right? And so it's, it's child sacrifice, really what it is. Or I've had three kids or it has Down syndrome or, you know, I already have three girls and the next one has to be a boy. So they'll abort the girl every time they find out it's a girl, right? And more girls are aborted than boys in Texas. Or they'll do IVF, you know, and they'll get like th 30 fertilized eggs and they'll pick which ones they want, you know, the boys. And then, and then they'll use those and they'll freeze the others or they'll let them continue to grow and experiment on them or they throw them in the trash. Or they now adopt them out. So we have friends that have adopted uh, fertilized eggs, but mostly they just throw them all out, right? And uh, there's more kids die through in vitro fertilization than there's through normal abortion. But basically, we've dehumanized. But you can buy those eggs. Right. But if it was just you and me, and everybody else was not, God would say, "Take dominion of the land." Oh no, I'm, I'm not excuse. I'm not right? saying don't do anything. I'm, that's not what I mean. We know evil people are going to do evil things, but people who follow God and worship God, we should expect them to oppose the evil. You know. Yes. So I, I pray that that God will reveal to all of us what we should be doing in His will. To me, like, yeah. like believe me, man, standing out in front of so-called like holy ground, which people come out and said, you're, you're talking, about, you're, you're on holy ground, you know, which is not true, but, you know, um, well, you oppo Roman yeah, you're opposing, I mean, you know, the bride of Christ, you know, because we're not opposing the bride of Christ, you no, know, but we fighting. have, but we're, ha we have to be, you know, careful. I mean, we really do to your point. And, you know, I don't want to make, last thing I want to do is make God mad at me. Right. So one of the ways um, that I, I do things is, is I try to reach the most amount of people and um, don't sin in doing it. Right. Like I want to, everything I do, honor God. So I know my buddy who's a, the Marine and he's from New York. I mean, if he talks to you about cookies, he'll just for some reason, it's kind of offensive, you know, <laughs> and I love him, you know, but in his weakness, He's trying to do the work, you know, and he's not like, like I'm like Homer Simpson, you know, I'm like a dork, you know, and so I come off a lot mellower than him. But both of us hate, you know, that it goes on and nobody cares. Like my neighbors don't care. I can go door to door, sit down, talk to all my neighbors, and be like, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, and they don't care, <laughs> you know. I, yeah, just don't confuse not not knowing practically what to do with not caring. Those are, when you say to somebody they don't care, and they do care, that's very different than, okay, 
hears, hears I hear what you're saying, but God has the ability to talk to us all. And those that study the Bible, and even the Bible yes, says, yes, oh yes. man, you know what's to do, what yes. you're supposed to do. Bring no. justice no. upon the land. No. But, yeah, <laughs> well, you know what's right, but that doesn't no. mean you know how to go The Bible it. says you know what to do. The Bible says you know what to do because God leads us and talks to us. And we know we need to make it illegal, that that is not right. We yes. know we need to do it. No, 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 no. I, Absolutely. But we don't. It's how. Right, but we... How? Well, there's... It's, it's not so much as the what to do, it's how you do it. So. Yeah, but there's ways, like if anybody cared, they could look at how to make something illegal. There's steps. Yes, but you need the momentum. I mean, you've already said it. The, the, you need, you need, do you know how many you people it took to get that bill? You need... Guess how many people actually got that bill? Yeah, but... It, we wrote want, the bill... 4,000 people at, 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 at a rally. No, 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 12. Yeah. Okay, 12, 12, no, no, no. 12 people wrote that bill and went into the Republican convention with this and said, hey, look, we're abolitionists. We're going to make abortion illegal. And they're like, oh, we're pro-life. And they're like, yeah, you got to repent of that because pro-lifeism, all it does is regulate when, where, and how you can kill babies, right? We're saying we need to make it illegal. We got that bill from that. And like 12 people walk in the convention. You know, if we had yeah, but 500 the, people, to the point it, it would do it. To the, the point of the, okay, well, we need support down in Austin or San Antonio or Dallas, right. wherever you're going to do it to, to get the attention. That's that's where your neighbors who who are apathetic could actually do something, but they right. won't know that unless... Well, no, my neighbors know. We they, tell them. Okay, well, you know? if, if you told them and they didn't come, then right. then maybe that's it. All their kids play it on my house. I, I'm just saying, <laughs> you, you know? hear what I'm saying. Yeah. Your neighbors know, but your pastor did I knew. know about it? Your pastor knew. Okay. Your elders knew. Okay. All right. And that that's, well, that's where it may be fair. And it might be a, okay, if you're not going to do it this way, how can we do it kind right. of game. As opposed, what should it be? I hear you, and I'm an adamant support, but the reality is, okay, if I can't affect it that way, how can I effectively do it? Which may not be as directly as I want, but I can still influence it. Yeah, because it's up to you and God, right? So, okay. so anyway, hey, God bless you guys. I appreciate you coming.